now at the top uh, menu bar if i click on this drop down we can see that there are a bunch of platforms uh, that we can export this game for we have windows we have mac os we have ios android and bunch of other things uh, if you are using windows system uh, you can export this game on android windows html uh, and ubuntu but uh, if you want to export this game for ios you must be running uh, game maker studio on mac because without using mac uh, you can't export this game so i'm going to be showing you that how to export your game for android there are a bunch of things that need to be configured uh, for exporting this game so on the left side if i click on this global game setting and a new window will be opened at the at the top you will see that we have a bunch of uh, different platforms for those uh, we can export our game all right so if i click on android you will see that there are a bunch of things that we need to write inside it we have to give the name of uh, our game and the name of our game should be same should be permanent and that should be same as the name that we write for our play store okay then we need to give it a version and we need to give it a splash screen and different sizes of logos all right but before that uh, i just want to let you know that if i go to file and click on preferences all right and i need to click on android Uh, this is android all right and inside it uh, we need to give it some files for exporting our game for android device uh, we must have some uh, tools installed in our system uh, we must have our java development kit in our system we should have our ndk in our system and we should have our uh, android sdk installed in our system so i'm going to be showing you that how to install all these things in our system so first of all let's go to google and just write jdk and click on the first link and it will take you to the url and you need to click on this icon and when you will download this jdk all right install this jdk with the default settings in your system once you install it you need to go to your properties of uh, you need to go to c drive and inside c drive click on program files inside program files click on java like uh, click on java and we have jdk and inside it click on bin and you will be given this url you need to copy this url all right and once you copy this url just right click on the my system all right and go to the properties of your system and inside it you need to click on advanced system settings inside advanced system settings click on advanced tab inside advanced tab you need to click on environment variables click on this all right and inside the lower window you need to find a uh, something called path all right just click on it and click on edit all right and inside it you need to give the path that you have copied by clicking on new and inside it you need to just paste that url i have already pasted that url inside my environment variables you need to add that url inside it as well all right once you do it click ok click ok and click ok so we have configured our java development kit uh, uh, that is our JDK in our system. Now we need to install NDK in our system. So install NDK. Just uh, go to developer.android.com/ndk. All right, and from here you can download NDK. And once you download it, you just need to uh, save this NDK inside uh, any directory in your system. You don't need to install it in your system. Okay. So just uh, you, if I click on download and from here you need to click on uh, whether if your system is 32 bit click on this link if your system is 64 bit click on this link all right and it's a zip file uh, make sure you extract this file in your system and the last thing you need to 
have in your system and that is a big thing that is android sdk and if we google the android sdk it will take you to the android studio website and from here you need to download and install android studio because android sdk is by default installed and come with the android studio so once you install this android studio you will have uh, this sdk all right so we actually we need our uh, android sdk for our game maker studio to export our game for android uh, but it's a good thing that you uh, installed android studio as well it's not a very big size uh, so let's let me show you what is sdk all right when you will have your android studio installed inside that android studio you will have something called sdk folder all right and inside it there is an sdk manager and if i open this sdk manager you will see something like this and inside it this is all you need to do inside it i have different versions of my android all right if you're using android phone you must know we have our a lollipop version we have our kit kat versions uh, we have our marshmallow versions okay so right now it is showing me 25.0 we have 24 and uh, down to the bottom the lowest version is at the bottom all right so uh, we need to what we need to do now we need to install all the files inside this sdk it will take a lot of time if you want to export your game for the all the versions of android device and you intend to uh, put your game on game play play store for android and all the users who have all the versions of android then you need to install all the packages just select this one and install 49 packages i have installed all the packages up to 6.0 I just need to update the packages if I click on 6.0 you can see that I have installed all the things some of the things are not installed these are new and the Android SDK manager automatically updates these things some things that I need to update um, like I need to Android TV uh, for updating my Android SDK all right but the previous version is good for now okay so my game if I go to 7.0 you can see that I have installed nothing inside this version so my game will not be used and cannot be uh, deployed for Android device that have Android version 7.0 so if you want to uh, play your game on Android on all the versions you need to click on uh, all the check boxes like this and install this one it will take a lot of time because the whole thing will be around 50 GB all right so if you don't want your game to work below any version so don't need to install it just uh, select the uh, later versions uh, from 4.0 up to the 7 and install that one you don't need to go to the 2.0 uh, no device uh, nowadays uh, work on 2.0 version all right so once you install it you need to close this sdk and it can take uh, one day two day or so many days okay depends upon your internet connection so I'm gonna close this one so now let's go to game maker studio and inside it if I go to file and the preferences this window will open and inside it I have just clicked Android all right and inside it I need to give it a path of my SDK I need to give it a path of my NDK and a path of my JDK all right so if I just check check Android SDK it's showing me some error that SDK directory does not exist I have given something wrong path of my SDK if I just click on it and let's go to my Android SDK and I have named this uh, folder uh, by my own and I will click on the whole folder of SDK all right not just the SDK manager this one all right I need to select all the whole folder of this SDK okay I'll click on it and I'll click OK all right and now I will check if my SDK is properly configured in game maker studio I can click on this check Android SDK and if I click on it you can see that uh, SDK plus JDK plus key store all the things are okay all right 
I've already given the path of my Android NDK. If I show you Android NDK, I don't need to install Android NDK. So this is the Android NDK and inside it I have another folder and all these folders. I need to give the path up to this folder. Okay. So I've given the path up to that folder and if I click on check Android NDK, it's showing me that NDK is okay. And I need to give the path of my JDK, not the bin, but before bin. Okay. This is the path of JDK C program files, Java and JDK 1.7.0. Oh, you might have the later version of JDK. So this is um, all the things that we need to configure for exporting our game for Android. Now I will click on OK. All right. So now uh, we need to uh, go to our global game settings and I'll click on Android tab and inside it I need to give uh, the name of my game. So I will click uh, on this text box and I will name it balloons pop. Okay, I can add space as well. Uh, and the version of this game would be 1.0.0 and I can write any version. Uh, make sure when you update your game, you must know that uh, you need to update the version as well in order to uh, update your game on Play Store. And this is the name of my package. It can be anything starting from the com and your company name and after that uh, the name of your application. And orientation, our game is portrait. It doesn't work on landscape. So I have selected portrait. All right. And I'm going to select all the architecture. Some it is it depends upon the hard drive uh, hardware that your game is working on, whether it's desktop, mobile or web. So I'm going to select all of these things because I want my game to work on all these hardware devices. All right. So now I need to update my logos and splash screen. If I click on update and I will go to assets and and this is the folder that I have just added inside it. I'm going to give the link of this folder uh, in this. Actually, I'm going to uh, add this folder in the same link that I have given you. Uh, for these folders. All right. Uh, you can go and get this folder from now on. Okay. So I'll click double click on it and you can see that I have added different logos and a splash screen. So I'll click on splash screen and I'll open this up. Make sure it is of the portrait size and the size of it should be same as the size of our rooms that we added in our rooms folder. And that is 768 by 1024. Now I need to update my logos. So it's saying me that it should be 170 by 170. I have created the logos in Photoshop. So I'll click on select on it and I'll click open. Now I need to select the 72 by 72. This is 72, 48 and 36. All right. And I have added all the things inside my this tab on the left side. If I click on graphics, uh, and I will go with the default settings of graphics. If I go to social, uh, I don't need to do anything inside it. If I go to permission and from here, I can choose if my game require internet connection. No. So I'll click on it. If my game require external storage, no, uh, and nothing inside it, uh, but I will go with internet connection on because sometimes I want to put ads on my game. So I will keep the internet connection on. Uh, from here it doesn't require Bluetooth connection for my game so I'll go with all these uh, settings okay so I will click OK now for exporting our game we must uh, click on Android from this drop down in order to export my game if you want to check this game uh, for your Android device you can just plug that device in with your system and uh, you will just play this game after uh, doing all those settings and configurations and clicking this Android uh, option from this drop down and it will automatically run uh, and install this game on your Android device. Um, so, but uh, if you want to publish your game on Play Store, you must create its uh, package APK file for the game. So now let's go and create our APK file. So click on file and click on create application. 
and it will ask you for the directory where I want to save my uh, APK file and I will click on desktop and I'll click save. It might take some time depends upon the speed of my system or the size of my game that I have just developed in my case and for this game uh, it takes about uh, five minutes so we need to wait for it for five minutes uh, it might uh, hang on sometimes but it will eventually create the APK file in your system so let's wait for it to create our APK file if I come to my desktop uh, you will see that we have a package created for our game and this is the package that has been created for our game uh, with the same name and this is the package that we can use to upload our games on the uh, Play Store or uh, install our game on any Android device and the same process you can use for installing uh, your game on uh, other devices like Windows Phone, iOS if you are using Mac then you can also export your game for Mac. So I hope that you have learned a lot from this tutorial. You have developed a complete game. If you want more tutorials, make sure you subscribe my channel and like this video and share this video uh, with your fellows. I have planned to create some more videos uh, using Unity 3D for creating some 2D and 3D games. So make sure you subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching this tutorial.